Undergrad students do their final capstone projects about all sorts of things, but five UND students went above and beyond. They built a first of its kind biomechanical hand. WDAY News reporter Jessica Backlin spoke with the students and the professor about the unique and life-changing project. Every year, students at universities across the country are tasked with completing a final capstone project, usually in their final year. Some students write a research paper, some give a presentation, and some, like these UND students, build biomechanical hands. So I was very excited to just see it come to fruition. Team lead Megan says she knew that she wanted to attempt this project since freshman year. I always thought, hey, if I'm going to be an electrical engineer and I was interested in biomedical stuff, let's, let's do this. The person the hand was built for would like to remain nameless. He lost his ring and pinky finger and part of his palm on his left hand 30 years ago. And Megan has known him for a long time. Megan eventually recruited two more engineering students and two computer science students to work together to actually make this biomechanical hand and an app to go along with it. The prosthetic, we had to have some way, you know, to connect it to the phone so that it would, you know, be able to be controlled by the app. Because of COVID, the group only met with the person the hand was built for twice. Once for the initial testing, and again, the night before the presentation. At first, it seemed to me that it wasn't working. And there was no way that we were going to get this to, you know, do what we needed it to do. But after a few seconds, it did work. It was such a relief for me. <laughs> like, yes, it finally worked. It's so exciting. And, well, the subject was excited the hand worked, too. It's a feeling he hasn't had in 30 years, so... If you can imagine that, just part of your body is missing and then all of a sudden you have it back. It's kind of like a dream, really. It's safe to say all the students passed their final capstone and all of them have a bright future ahead. If I could show my uh, my sophomore, high school sophomore self what I did and where I am now, he'd be blown away. Like, it's 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 incredible. Jessica Backlin, WDAY News. The students say this project is a first of its kind because it's non-invasive and customizable to the type of amputation.